Hey guys, it's Landon from RH, and this is going to be a short video in QGIS 3.36. I'm going to show you how you can add an attribute to an existing uh, feature layer to, to basically track work associated with the feature. Um, I want to do uh, some, some uh, work order kind of task management stuff in, in QGIS with a plugin and so maybe we'll try and integrate something like this but um, until I have time to do that uh, I'm going to show you uh, just how to do that with a with a simple feature attribute so this is one of the big jobs that we're working on <coughs> uh, rural boundary survey and uh, we have a lot of uh, property corner monuments that we found <coughs> so you can see those in green and uh, what we want to do is um, for most of these, uh, we we need to uh, prepare what's called a corner card. Uh, so it's a little bit like a corner record. And so uh, I need a way for my people to keep track of that because um, I suspect we're going to have uh, hundreds. We're going to have to do hundreds of these uh, before we're finished <laughs> with this job over the next couple years. And so we want a way to keep track of that. So I've got the uh, the layer here. You can see me toggle it on, on and off there. That's our uh, our property corners layer it's just a point layer and you can see our point numbers there and so what we want to do is we just want to add an attribute to track the status of uh, the corner card so to do that I'm gonna make the layer editable and I'm gonna go into the properties of the layer and we're gonna come down to fields so this is all the fields that we have in this layer or, or, or the attributes and I'm going to just hit this button here to add a field. Now you won't be able to do this. This will be grayed out if your layer isn't editable. So we're going to add a new field. Okay, and I'm going to call it uh, corner card status. And we're going to make that a text. And I'm going to give myself uh, 150 characters. Okay, so we have it here now. So let's see if I want to do anything with this. So I'm going to go to the attributes form, which is the next one down here. We're going to click that attribute, and then we can do some we can do some different stuff here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say reuse last entered value for the editor. I want what they call a value map. That'll give me a little drop down because we want to limit the user's selection of the values here. So we're going to say not applicable will be the first one then we're going to say not started so that's when we need one but it hasn't been started Then we're going to say corner uh, cataloged I'm going to say field so that means we've collected the data in the field that we need Okay, then we're going to have corner cataloged office. So that's when we go through with our form in the office and we make sure that we have everything we need to do the corner card. And then we're going to have corner card drafted. So that's when the CAD work is done. And then we're going to have um, uh, corner card reviewed. So that's when the principal reviews it. And then we'll have corner card submitted. Okay, and then we're just going to put other. We shouldn't need that one, but I'm going to add it in here. Okay, and we're going to say, uh, I'm going to allow nulls for now. Uh, we're not going to make it unique. Um, and then the default, we're just going to make our default value. Whoop, I don't want the expression builder, guys. Sorry. We're going to have the default value be uh, not applicable. Whoop. It may want me to put this in single quotes. There we go. Okay, let's see here. Okay, we don't have to worry about that. So I think this is all we need. So we're going to say apply. Okay. 
And then let's go in and see what that looks like in the attribute table. So you can see now we have corner card status here. And if I click on this, I get that drop down list. Right. So we can just come in real quick and set all these to not started. Okay, so I'll do that. I'll make sure they're all not started. And then we can turn that off. Turn off the layer editing, sorry. <clears throat> now, a couple quick things. This works well when you just have um, you know, a fairly simple start to finish process to track the, the work that's being associated with the feature, which in this case I do, right? So uh, if I make this editable again, you know, this is a pretty linear process. It's not too complicated. Um, I mean, there's several steps here, but it, it's not a super convoluted. Things don't go back and forth. So for, for something like that's relatively simple and linear like that, work that's associated with the feature, you can use a single attribute with the drop-down list like we did. Now, we will probably also track this separately in Basecamp, <coughs> which is our project management software. But... I wanted to show you how to do that in QGIS. <clears throat> now, the other thing you can do, um, and I don't want to, I don't want to permanently uh, do this, but you can you can set up a um, a style uh, so that uh, you can view the status of the of the layer by style. So, let me just show you how to do that real quick, and then we'll then we'll end the video. So. Um, so I've already got it set up here for categorize, but instead of status here, I'm going to put it on corner card status. And um, I think I'm okay with that. We're going to go ahead here. We got to change these now. So you can change these. Um, I'm going to say, uh, so you really, you really have to do not applicable. Let's say not started. You really would have to set all all of your values up, all the values that you put in for, to your value map. So let's make this like a gray. We'll make this a gray color. And you know what? I'm gonna make it a little more. Uh, I'm going to give it a little thinner line. And so uh, you, you should be able to see when I do that, uh, that that the style has changed. Okay. Now, I don't want to save those changes uh, because that's not the status I want to track. But I just wanted to show you that once you have that attribute set up, you can create a style that that color codes your feature based on the status of that attribute that's tracking the associated work to the feature. Um, and then you can quickly, relatively quickly, load that style uh, if you wanted to view that in your map. So you can come in back in, if you just uh, go right here, you can load your style. Okay, I think I saw a plugin that will let you quickly switch styles between layers, which is handy. So if I can find that and it works, we'll, we'll do a We'll do a separate uh, video on that. Okay, so now we can track those changes. Now I'm going to close this and not save it because I don't want to save the changes to my layer style. But I wanted to uh, I wanted to show you guys that.